Hello, hello, my friends. I have another fun video for you today. This one is actually really special because not only do I have my husband here to do this video with me, but this is a fun video because this is the Kringle Candle Spring and Summer Collection preview video. Now, I know that I have been doing a couple of preview videos over the course of the last month. However, this time I actually have candles here in front of me to give you some cold sniff impressions of. Kringle Candle was kind enough to send these candles to me in PR. Uh, so I want to say thank you very, very much to Kringle for sending those to me. And also a big thank you to all of you guys. Um, without your support, uh, Kringle is kind of funny, not funny, but like the way that they send out PR is sometimes based upon um, how many people use your code or um, they also like enter you into like a lottery system. So regardless of how I was entered to get this cool PR, it's here. So I'm really excited to share it all with you. And what's better than one person's opinion about New Candle? Two person's opinion. Two person's opinions. <laughs> now, if you've been with my channel for a while, you know that he has done this in the past and it's always a lot of fun. Uh, we actually sometimes have very different fragrance preferences. So there are certain fragrances that you don't like. Yep. Like? Peach. Peach, peach. anything with peach. <laughs> so that's why you probably will never see me reviewing peach candles yeah. on here because he does not like peach. Yep. What else? Um, some of like the per perfumey, like weird, there's some weird. Like super perfumey. Yeah. And peppermint. Yeah, I don't like that one. Yeah, or chocolate. Like I don't like the chocolate ones either. Yeah. Um, oh, that's kind of funny. So yeah. see, we have a little bit different taste. I I feel okay about peach and yeah. peppermint and all of those, but learning new things after we've been married for 18 years, still learning things about each other. So um, <laughs> if you're coming across my channel for the first time, hi, I'm Katie. I like to talk about all things candles here. We do empties, reviews, hauls, and everything in between. So if you find yourself wanting to stick around, for more candle content, uh, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about these candles. There are 12 new fragrances. Um, actually, I'm not sure if all of them are completely new. I feel like a couple of them have been around in the past and they are making a return. Um, and I will talk about those when we get to them. Uh, I also wanted to let you guys know that Crinkle sent me, uh, in their country candle format, they sent me the large jars, but in the Crinkle format, they sent me the um, they sent me three three wicks and three of their large two wick tumblers. So we'll talk about all of that and I'm trying to think any other information. Oh, it might be helpful to know when these are going to be available. These will be available next Friday, March 1st. They have been doing their launch times at <clears throat> 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, you guys, these are not like the limited edition reserve launches or limited edition um, like Easter ones. So they do that to coincide with the SpaceX launch. Oh, is that right? what they do? It's, no, no, not at all. Me and the Kringle guy are like. Yeah, I'm sure. So, <laughs> no. So they're trying, um, they've been trying to like move around launch times, I think, to try to just see what is best for the customer base. But um, these, remember you guys, these are going to be around for a while. We know that actually there's a lot of the 2023 spring and summer launches that are still in stock on the Kringle okay. website. So these, you know, feel free to shop whenever you want to. You know, if you want to wait for a good sale, great. If you want to pick them up right at launch, I do have a discount code with Kringle. It is KD15 and it will save you 15% on your purchase. I will have all of the description notes linked in the uh, linked in the description box down below. There's so much information you guys for me to try to remember for these videos. Yeah. But this intro feels long enough. Why don't we go ahead and get to what you guys are all waiting for, which are the fragrances. Yay! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with some of the two wick fragrances. So this first one here is Sage <clears throat> and Palo Palo Santo. Um, Palo Santo is a fragrance that I typically love. So this one is kind of like earthy. Um, definitely sweetness of Palo Santo. I should probably I don't even know what Palo you, Santo is. It's, what it's a Palo wood. Santo? It's a wood typically used like actually this part of the U.S. and like in Mexico. And it's, it's very popular huh. over here in the Western. It was used in a lot Never. of like... Um, it's used like medicinally, like, um, or like a lot of like native, like, yeah. they try to like, um, they feel like there's like healing properties and stuff in it. 
It smells good. I like it. I don't know. You go ahead and try it out. Smell, it smells good. It smells more like cologne to me. It does kind it's of kind have of like, like a, a muskiness. Yeah, um, I like that. It's not the same as last summer's Palo Santo and vanilla, although I could see myself pairing <clears throat> that with a vanilla candle and, and liking it a little bit more. Yeah, that smells really good. If you're somebody that likes yeah. like earthy fragrances, I think that you would like that one. I see myself burning that one more towards the end of summer, like when I'm ready for, like I'm not quite ready for all of the fall fragrances, but I think that'll be a nice transitional I fragrance. I can't smell them. Really? Like, I've smelled you know this one like three times and I can't smell, smell it the lid. anymore. I'm Sometimes like, if you smell the lid, the oils are a little more concentrated in there. Nope. Nope. Oh boy. Next candle, I can smell almost nothing now. Next candle. Okay, let me go ahead and read the there fragrance notes for you on that one. Let me turn to the right page here. All right, I wrote them all down for you guys, so that way you would have it. Like the that. fragrance notes on sage and palo santo are top notes of citrus and bergamot, lemon and sage, mid notes of oregano, mm -hmm. lavender, and jasmine, base notes of amber, musk, and woody. So it's definitely kind of more musky. I like it. Yeah, I that definitely really get, I get some of that bergamot in here. Um, sage. What is bergamot? It's kind of, bergamot is like a, it's used in like a lot of like, kind of like spa like type of fragrances. It's again, like huh. one of those like, it's kind of like a calming fragrance, like an aromatherapy type of fragrance. Yeah. Um, now these Kringle fragrances <clears throat> are all going to be available in the large two wick format. They will also be available in the three wick, 14 ounce jar format. And then they will also be available, I believe in daylights and wax melts. I will make sure again, that I have all of that clarified in the description box down below for you. Um, but I will, you know, there's so much here. Then I it, have no idea what it means. You have no idea what any of it means. <laughs> I just, <clears throat> for me, I film on my iPhone, so I can't pull yeah. up like everything's in my email and whatnot. And I tried to remember to write things down beforehand, yeah. but sometimes I'm just so excited to film that. I forget to write it all down. So whatever I forget goes in the description box down below. All right, let's go ahead and move on to another fragrance. This is ice cream sandwiches. Can't so eat. you can't have it. No, can't. I know you can't. He can't have dairy. Oh, can't sad. Have you can't have ice cream. Like yeah. things that have heavy milk in it can't do that. All right, I'm gonna yeah. let you sniff that one first yeah. while I read off the fragrance notes. So the fragrance notes of ice cream sandwiches, top notes of rainbow sprinkles, sea salt, and macadamia nuts, mid notes of ice cream, ruby chocolate, cotton candy, base notes of vanilla milkshake, toasted coconut, yeah. and tonka bean. What are the four, like the, uh, can I get a spoon? Can you get a spoon? No, because you can't, you can't eat that either. <laughs> oh man. I, I, there's like a hint of chocolate and they're that weird, dusty chocolate thing that they do. And you don't like chocolate? I don't like the chocolate candles. I, I just no, don't like them. No, but that's not they a chocolate They almost like candle. take my breath away. Like I smell them, I'm like, oh, I might start coughing. Yeah. But yeah, that smells really good. I like that. This one, I smell, <clears throat> I definitely get the toasted coconut in here, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. For there's sure, you that. smell toasted coconut. So like by toasted coconut, even like my daughter said, it smells like the, um, like the sweetened coconut that like we'll use in baking yeah. or whatnot, like it's like toasted, like if you were to toast that, that's what like it smells toasted like. Coconut. Toasted coconut. <laughs> exactly but there like is coconut. a creaminess to it too. Yeah, there is. Like I smell creaminess and a little bit of nuttiness. I think that's that macadamia. Yeah. I like that one yeah, a I'm lot. That one is definitely like a summertime gourmand type of fragrance, like a summer foodie type of fragrance. Hence the title that says ice cream, ice cream sandwich. sandwiches. I think maybe that chocolate that you're smelling, whatever they're using to come up with that ruby chocolate. I've never heard of ruby chocolate before, but there I have another yeah. candle that has that as a fragrance note. That um, hot pink cocoa from Bath and Body Works also <clears throat> said ruby chocolate. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Yeah, that one smells so, really good. That one's really good. Stay tuned for the end of this video because at the end, I'm going to ask him to pick out like your favorite fragrance and then your least favorite too. Right. And I'll share with you guys mine too. Yeah. All right, the next candle coming up is, okay. I feel like you're gonna drop it. I know, the whole thing's gonna just go flying here. It's like so, a 20 pound candle. I know, well, it's this is their large jar. So this is coral, and this 
is again in the two wick large sized tumbler. So I'm gonna let you sniff that first while I read off the fragrance notes. I have to like blow up the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, we need the coffee beans in front of you. Coral, top notes of ozon ozonic freshness, sparkling bergamot, splash of lemon, mid notes of lavender, sandalwood, base notes of creamy tonka bean, smooth amber, and sheer musk. It smells like summer vacation. What about it? Yeah. Like, but not. It smells really good. I like that one. It's like like a soap. There's soap. Yes. Soap. That reminds me of some soap. It reminds me of like a soap that we would have on like a. Like summer in like vacation, a, like in a hotel. Like a fancy one. Though. Yeah, like, not it's like, like a, a cheap one. Like no, a nice. No. Like in a nice resort, you would. Yeah, they always have the better smelling soaps. Mm-hmm. Or like on a cruise or something. <sighs> It's very nice. It's very yeah, like, like summery, but it's not. It, but it, it's also unique. It's, it's very not, fresh. Yeah, it's fresh, but it's not laundry <laughs> fresh. It's not no um, coconut. Like I, I don't really smell coconut or anything like that in there. <laughs> Sorry. It's kind of perfumey. I would say that it's yeah, it's perfumey. Bit. More like a feminine type of perfume, because yeah. sometimes you can say perfumey and it can go like it's cologne. cologne. It's yeah. Cologne, not perfumey. Well, some people depends. It's, I'm getting to where yeah. I can't smell it again. Yeah. It's because you keep smelling it too much. It's like, <laughs> it smells oh. good. I like it. But a little bit of like um, <clears throat> like lemon and fresh. It's very yeah. nice. It's almost like kind of spa like. I really yeah, like that like one. A, yeah, it's very spa like. Spa like, but it's not like your typical spa fragrances. It's a very calming fragrance. Yeah. But kind the of lemon. soapy at the same time. Yeah, the lemon. You can really. Like you said, the lemon, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, you smell lemon, but you don't really, it's not, it's not like, like It's not lemon. like you said it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what that high-end, like. Right. By the way, we have children home right now, so if you hear background noise, that's what's going on. They live yeah. here. Probably just hit the, <laughs> hit the yeah. stand. Oh, For some well. reason, they live here. Yeah, some reason they do. I guess we let them live here. Mm, I like that one. Yeah, I really like that yeah. one. Okay, so we have now, these are the three wicks that they sent to me. So this first one here is Gardenia. Now, I do know that this is a fragrance that has been around in the past. In fact, I actually have a large two wick of this. Um, I might have purchased this two or three years ago. They, they brought them back in like a very limited edition. There was like a couple of floral fragrances. I felt like there was, there were a couple of, of um, they were all florals in that collection, and I bought gardenia. Um, mm, that one's good. It smells very floral. Okay, so the fragrance notes on gardenia. Top notes of white floral <coughs> nope. gardenia. Mid notes of like jasmine one. green. Base notes of musk and sweet. You don't like that one? It's too floral for you? It's too much. Is it old lady-ish to it's you? It's too old lady-ish. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I hate to say that. My mom it's, loved gardenia. It smells good, but... Yeah. I keep like cough, I'm taking a big whiff of it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like Gardenia. I like it, but it's like... I like Gardenia, but it's a fragrance that I typically... You know when Gardenia smells really good to me is when you blend it with coconut. If you have like a nice like... Yeah. I like not like fruity good. drink coconut, but like a... Like a earthy like a coconut. Toasted? Like not to not even toasted coconut. Um... <laughs> This is nice though, but if you've had a uh, gardenia from Kringle in the past, it's the exact same fragrance. I compared it to the other one that I had and it's the exact same. It smells really, really good. I'm glad that they sent this one to me in a three wick because I, it's a fragrance that I see myself enjoying, but I don't necessarily need a large jar of it, but it's good. I also believe price point on these three wicks is $26. The large jars, I believe are $31. Um, so, yeah, but that's good. And I like I like these little three wicks. You guys know that this is kind of like my preference. I, I like yeah. the three wick jars just because I can kind of get through them um, a little bit quicker. But these large jars, if you are somebody who maybe really likes a fragrance and wants to get the most bang for your buck, then I feel like the large jars are the way to go. All right, another three wick candle that they sent to me. This is Bananas Foster. So every time I see anything bananas for the summertime, 
I always think of there's always money in the banana stand. Yep. <laughs> always money in the banana, <laughs> money in the banana stand. So Dan <laughs> burnt the banana stand to the to ground. ground. <laughs> Anybody who knows what what show we're talking about, you comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> awesome show. So the fragrance notes Ooh. on bananas foster are that one's really good. top notes of banana, brown sugar, soft spice, yeah. mid notes of smoked vanilla bean and butter, base notes of soft woods and sweet. Yeah, nailed it. I smell <laughs> yeah, bananas. Really definitely good. bananas and brown sugar for sure is what I smell. Like. Yeah, but there's like a creamy thing but too. But there is a little bit of a creaminess. I don't it's really detect a, right? like a. What's the name of this one? Bananas Foster. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't really detect a, like a on cold sniff at least. I don't. I detect almost a smell rum. like a cinnamon thing going on. Yeah, too. well, because they say there's spice in there, oh, soft yeah. spice. Yeah. So yeah. Cinnamon is the softest of them. Mm -hmm. All the spices. <laughs> It's sweet. I don't really smell like soft. Definitely. Now that I said that, I like definitely smell now cinnamon. Now you smell it? Yeah, but, definitely. But it's not like, um, it's, yeah, there is a soft spice to this, but it's not like, um, like a cinnamon that I would smell like in like, like a apple no, pie or something, something like, like that. that. It's not, it's just there in the That's background. That's a really good one. I yeah. like that one. I love banana fragrances oh. though. So. That one smells really good. Yeah, that one. Like you need to make a, something that tastes like this. That tastes like that? Probably just mix all those ingredients. Where they going? Oh yeah, let's just mix it all together and see. <laughs> it's probably going to work out. See if it'll work out. I don't know. Put some smoked vanilla beans. Some soft woods. Soft woods. Okay, yeah. We'll put Who that doesn't in like there. that in a pie, right? Who doesn't like that in there? I think, it, well, it's normally made with rum. I think Bananas Foster is. I'm in. So you're in. That's Scoot over. I'm getting in. Let's go to the Caribbean and get us some rum. And we'll be we'll be ready. I got it at Safeway. Oh, yeah, I know. But I, <laughs> well, I would rather go to the Caribbean and get it. <laughs> All right, this um, the last one of the Kringle lineup. This fragrance here is eucalyptus and cotton. So I'm not gonna like this one. You're, you're not gonna like that one. How do you know? Because look at the thing. It looks like just from the package. Just from the you just know from the that you're not gonna like picture. it. I'm gonna laugh if you actually really like it. All Got right. A banana out of my... <laughs> fragrance notes on this one are top that smells notes. Really good. Yeah. See. Okay, eucalyptus and cotton. Top notes, lemon, bergamot, eucalyptus. Mid <coughs> notes of clean cotton, sage, white powder. Base notes of white musk, amber, and soft woods. If you are somebody who likes laundry fragrances, this yeah, one, you this like one you're gonna love. Are, this one, one is really definitely, it bit. kind of reminds me of fabric softener, to be honest with you. It's like a, yeah, down, it it like a, a downy, downy fabric thing, softener. Yeah. I wanna say it's the one with the blue lid. I don't know. I don't use fabric softener. The the I pears, used to. Okay. No, I think that's Snuggle. Uh, that's the cheap one. That's <laughs> probably the whole part. Why it's the only one I <laughs> <That's> know. <laughs> <laughs> we all know it's Downy is the way. <laughs> I didn't live on that side of town. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> lived on the other side of the train tracks. Um, but no, the, um, I actually don't use fabric softener anymore. <laughs> Ooh. All uppity over here. All right? uppity. <laughs> Smelling my downy fabric <laughs> softener. That's the status symbol these days. Your downy fabric softener and your Stanley cup. That's probably... <laughs> Stupidest cup I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, yeah. so... I don't, don't get me on. Don't... Yeah, let's let's just stay right there. Okay. <laughs> um, Pinky ass. Yep. Okay, now I just throw it at you. That's what you get. All right, the um, the fragrance notes on there, it's definitely, I would say it's, it reminds me of fabric softener, but because I don't use it, I want to say it's the one with the blue lid, the like clean breeze scent. That's what it reminds me of the most. I like it. There's a little bit more eucalyptus note in it though, but not like, um, I would, what? What? yes, but not, mm -hmm. um, like you smell the eucalyptus a little bit more as you sniff it. It's one that I could actually see probably coming out more when you're burning it. Yeah. But it's nice. It's really nice. Um, Paisley said that it reminds her of when they go up to our friend's house and when they're when they're doing laundry. She's like, oh yeah, it uh, reminds me of when we used to play and hide in their laundry room. Her friend? Her friend. Well, I... Her one friend, <laughs> her one friend that she one. has. She only has one. All right, so that is it for the Kringle fragrances. Do you want to reach down there and get the oh, yeah. country ones for me? 
All right. Oh my goodness. All right. I know. They're very they're very heavy here. All right. So we have six large jars of the country fragrances. Country Candle did move over to a 100% soy wax almost a year ago. I think they started doing that in their spring 2023 releases. And less fat. And, and they have less fat in them. They're less fattening. <laughs> They're less fattening. No, they actually burn better. That's it. And um, the one thing that I will tell you that I have um, burned a couple of country candles since like since they've come out in 2024, one of the things Mick Kittredge told us was that they were using a different style of wick for this, for these newer pours. Um, because last year, one of the things that we were giving feedback about was that the wicks were getting um, really large carbon balls on them and then they were sooting a lot. The jars were getting a lot of soot. And so they have made adjustments. And I will tell you that I've burned two new country candles and so far those wicks are performing well for me. So in case you were curious about that or wanted to know if there were any updates on it, that has been my experience. So this first candle here is Strawberry Lemonade. I do believe that this fragrance was in a three wick format last year because this one smells familiar to me. I feel like I, I had this candle last year, but you can go ahead and sniff it while I read off the fragrance notes. Get geared up here, sir. That is Hawaiian Punch. It smells like Hawaiian Punch to it's you? exactly like Hawaiian Punch. <laughs> Top notes of orange peel, apple, lemon. Hawaiian punch right there. It doesn't say Hawaiian punch. I'm sure there would be like a trademark or something <laughs> on there. Mid notes uh, of almond, caramel, and verbena. Base notes of vanilla, raspberry, woody, and violet. Hawaiian punch. That's Hawaiian punch. That Hawaiian punch. Yeah, it's very really sweet. Good. Yeah, it's definitely a, a super, super sweet. It's not super lemony. Um, it kind of comes across a little... Like, it's like an artificial, like how you say Hawaiian punch. I haven't smelled Hawaiian punch in a super long time. Do they still make time. Hawaiian punch? I don't know if they do. I just thought that. That'd make me sad. We were born in the 80s, and so, like, we remember Hawaiian punch. And Cactus Cooler. Remember Cactus Cooler? Cactus Cooler sucked. You didn't like Cactus Cooler? Ugh. Hawaiian punch. I personally was partial to a What, the guy? What, do you have, like, loose antlers or mm -hmm. something? The Hawaiian punch guy? Oh, yeah. Didn't he? Didn't he have yeah, I feel like he did. <laughs> okay, Sorry. well. That didn't make any sense. This smells like Hawaiian punch, but like more carbonated, I feel like. Yeah, like, yeah. Like there's something a little more tangy to this. Yeah, there is. But if you had last year's, brighter. yeah, if you had last year's strawberry lemonade, it <clears> smells <throat> like the same fragrance to me. So you're gonna keep smelling it. Just stick a straw in there. <sighs> That's Hawaiian punch. I don't know about yeah. that, so. It smells really good. <laughs> I like it. If you guys happen to see me continue to look over this way, it's because I actually um, reflect there's my a guy camera. With a gun on us. Yeah, um, no, there's no, no, there's not. I I reflect um, the screen mirroring onto our TV, so that way I can make sure that like I stay in frame. And so sometimes I'm looking over there to see his reaction to things because it's a little bit. Anyways, I'm explaining too much. All right, next <laughs> next candle here. <laughs> is charred pineapple. So I like the color of this wax. It's yeah. like really bright green. Guess what that one smells like. Guess what that smells like. So I'm gonna name the fragrance notes on charred pineapple, top notes of fresh pineapple, fresh oh. pineapple juice, mango, mid notes of vine ripened raspberry, juicy melon, base notes of creamy coconut and peach. His whole opinion's gonna change now, I bet. He's gonna be like, I hate it. He's gonna throw it. After you were just Peach? saying, mm, I, there's no. a base note in there. Okay, so that's good. If that was you guys, a typo. It, that's a typo. I don't oh. really smell peach in that one either. I don't either. I don't smell it at all. This mm. smells really good. No, get your own. I want to smell the lid. Go get your own. Go get your own. This is a nice pineapple because I'm not somebody who likes uh, pineapple fragrances usually. I've talked about how they come off a little too astringent to my nose or too like artificial. This but one this, smells really like. Like canned, yeah, like canned pineapple poured like the in juice. A bowl. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. like the juice. But how they say that? Well. But how they say that it's charred? I don't get a smoky note or I anything do. like that. I, do you get I, a smoky oh, note? Oh yeah. I don't really get smoky though. Not smoky. It's like a char, like a. Like it adds like, sweetness to no, the. No, no. There's like a. On the back end, there's like a dark note. Mm-hmm. That's surprisingly really nice. I actually like yeah, that fragrance. Really the like more that one. I smell that one, that one, I'm like, oh, I actually really like that. Yeah, that one's really good. That'd be a good summertime. Mm -hmm. It's very like juicy. Smell. Yeah. I do detect a little bit of that melon 
Yeah, that's I was, listed in the background. I was expecting you to say watermelon or something like that. Yeah. There's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of a melon note, like a watermelon note in the background. Yeah, oh, that smells really good. That one's good. I, I do, do they like make that. a watermelon candle? They do. They have one. It's called, um, I think it's called Juicy Delight. That one is really good. Like smell. watermelon Jolly Rancher Delight? Yes. Yeah, it actually smells like watermelon <laughs> Jolly Rancher. I will melt so that and drink it. Well, that's good. my favorite. Love that one. All right. This next fragrance is Sand and Santal. So I'll let you go ahead and, and try that one. <sighs> the, the, <laughs> the fragrance notes of Sand and Santal, top notes of aquatic citrus, mid notes of neroli and coconut, base notes of lily and musk. Nope. You don't like that one? No, I like it. It reminds me of like 90s sunscreen. Not really. Oh yeah. No. Yes. 90s sunscreen? Like going to the beach? No. You know why I think anything with neroli in it for me reminds me of the beach? Because remember? It does, yeah, it smells like sunblock, but it's got like too much floral weird Well, you know what it me. is? And I think that's why I associate floral with it. So I've, I've talked about this before on my channel and, and other videos. So where I grew up in Southern California, I had to drive through, um, if you live in Southern California, you know, we had to drive like on the 126 and all those yeah. orange, um, there's a bunch of like citrus oh, groves awesome. yeah. uh, through like Fillmore and Santa Paula as you go through there. And so there's like a mix of like Is that from like the air. rich part of town where you got the yes, fancy Yes, yes. Oh there? yeah. From through the poor part. Through the poor Through no. all your trash out <laughs> no, on the way. No, we didn't. Just cruising down. No. Kicked a homeless guy. No. There no. wasn't any of that. Then no. they went to the beach. Then we went to the beach. Oh, and, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Not the cheap fabric. Not somewhere. the cheap fabric. We're still hung up on the fabric softener. Whatever. You know who I married. Apparently. Well, you do. <laughs> Didn't know who you married. No. Oh, I know. I know who I oh, married. Oh, okay. Here we go. When you had the fish hook on your on your hat when you when we first started dating. All right. Anyways, let's get back to the candle fragrance. Oh, good lord. Yeah, this is very much, if you are somebody who likes like sunscreen fragrances, in fact, if you purchase the, there's another country candle that I think will pair nicely with this, that Sunset Sands, it was in like the limited edition release that came out a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. Um, that one is, if you like sunscreeny, beachy type of fragrances, then I think that you will like that it's, one. That one smells good. It doesn't smell bad at all. Like, yeah, it's just not your cup of tea. Yeah, it's just not my... Yeah. yeah. Well, I wouldn't really expect. I don't know. Like, I don't really think that's your thing. Yeah. Okay. This one is probably my favorite colored wax. This one and this, another yeah. one. But, like, this color is so pretty. This is lemon tea and roses. So, I want to paint a guitar that color. Yeah, that is a pretty color. So, the fragrance notes on lemon tea and roses top notes of lemon, grapefruit, bergamot, green tea, mid notes of jasmine, violet, basil, mint, rose. Basil. No, it's basil. <laughs> the, the I figured love, you would say that from the fancy side. Yeah, yeah well, but... well, we went to, we went to school where we learned the the, like, sure? the, the vowels, <laughs> like how they're supposed to sound. If they... Oh, yeah. <laughs> trying to remember that. Fancy with your vowels. Fancy. Actually, I just remembered that when I was helping our kids with their homework and relearning the. <laughs> Relearning, relearning words. Relearn words. I had to relearn. Like, oh, why does it sound like that? Oh, that's why. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's basil. Let me think about that. All right, let me start over with the fragrance notes here. Okay, <laughs> lemon tea and roses. Top notes: lemon, grapefruit, bergamot, green tea. Mid notes: jasmine, violet, basil, mint, rose. Base notes of moss, amber, sandalwood, and musk. They nailed the whole lemon tea and roses thing. Like, I wouldn't have guessed that if it wasn't on the title, but like. At first when I smell yeah. it, I, I kind of smell tea, but then the more I smell it, I'm like, oh yeah, I smell rose. Like They're, then the rose becomes more If dominant. they had not put that on there, I wouldn't have any clue what that would smell like. It smells really good, but mm -hmm. it's... That fragrance yeah, reminds me of like, um, they did a good job. like how we were saying, what fragrance was it? That coral one reminds us of like a soapy, like fancy yeah, soap. Yeah, this one's got a little bit of that. This one reminds me of like um, walking into a fancy hotel lobby or like a... Like, no, you remember? Well, certainly wouldn't remind her, like, this reminds me of this Super 8 that I went in this no, one time. It's, <laughs> it's not Super 8. In a no, fancy hotel, the really? The fancy hotel. Really? Yeah, that was fancy. No, but it does remind me of, like, 
you know. <laughs> Which, by the way, the reason we know what a fancy hotel smells like is because where we live in Arizona, like typically, two. well, no, there's a lot like an like an hour down the road over in Scottsdale. There's a bunch of them, well, and well, in Snotsdale, but <laughs> but where? Sorry if you live in Scottsdale, but that's all, oh no, we know. Oh no, we know. Um, but. In our anniversary is in August, and so we typically will go and do like a little anniversary staycation because nobody in their right mind wants to come to Phoenix in August, <clears throat> and so they typically offer like decent deals, and so that's yeah. what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like like the Kierlin, like yeah. Kierlin Resort or I do something like that. Color. like that. This is like one of that my color favorite is really colors. Pretty. Really, really I will say, if you're familiar with Pringles fragrances, if you liked last year's avocado and palm, it's not the same fragrance or their um, ginger lily and palm, it's kind of in that same fragrance family. That I would say, so if you like those fragrances, then I think that you would really like that lemon tea and roses. All right, here's a fun one. This is Cake Pops. Now I do believe that this was a fragrance that was previously offered from Kringle or Country Candle. You can go ahead and sniff that one out <laughs> if you would like. Top notes, creamy frosting, mid notes, vanilla cake, base notes, liquid sugar, and sweet musk. Yep, nailed it. All those things. Would you say that it smells more like a cake or does it smell more like the frosting to you? The frosting. I think so too. Like, I don't know why Disneyland popped in my head when I smelt this. Really? Yeah, like amusement park, something sweet, maybe the sweet shop? Well, yeah, mm -hmm. they do have a bunch of like cake pops at Disney. <sighs> That's really good. Now I will tell you yeah, that um, like Cake it. Pops, I think is an appropriate name for it. It's not like a cake fragrance. So if you guys are familiar with different- It's uh, like the frosting on there or something. Yeah, it's, it's more of like sweet. the frosting note on there. Let me it's smell that. Stupid lid. Yeah, it's definitely more the frosting oh. than it is the actual cake note. If you're familiar with like Homework's birthday cake, that is more essential like the actual cake, but this is more like the frosting note to it. Almost smells like a little bit of like like a strawberry frosting or something, but not like yeah, yeah. strawberry. But yeah, I can see where you can, yeah. It's like a berry-based frosting. It's not, obviously not a chocolate frosting, and it's not even really what I would say like a plain vanilla frosting. But I like it. I like That's it. That's a good one. There was lip marks on this, like someone's trying to buy it. Yeah, good probably one of our kids. <laughs> wouldn't put wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> yeah. Especially that little one of ours. Yeah. <laughs> She's nuts. <laughs> All right, and we have one more fragrance to talk about here. This is also a really pretty color. This is Cotton Flowers. So I'm gonna let you hold that one there. Cotton Flowers, fragrance notes on there, top notes of mint, mid notes of freesia and lemon, base notes of rose and wood. Yep, nailed well, it. Okay, well, what did they nail? The mint. The... I smell mint too. Getting to where I can't smell it now. You can't smell it. We're almost <laughs> done here, babe. I have to like blow it off. I definitely get mint and a little bit of like woodiness in the background yeah. on that. Slightly floral, but it's like a sweet floral, I think. Not a, uh, it's not like a, a white floral. No, or a, like the dusty floral. I don't know what they call yeah, it. Yeah, kind of. It's uh, not like that. No, it's like a very sweet floral. It's like spearminty. Like yes, a little spearminty. Um, Lemony, mm -hmm. little bit of clean. Yeah, it's very clean, but not like laundry cleaner. No, like more astringent clean. I feel like I think it's the mintiness that makes it feel kind yeah. of. Yeah, it's light and airy. Yeah, I feel weird. I feel like one of you fancy guys. It's all light fancy. and airy. Yep. Like you remember Andrew Zimmerman? He'd be like, "Oh, it's got a little bit of barnyard." Yeah, like, <laughs> a little on the back end. It's like <laughs> I don't really want that in my yeah, food. It's, Thanks. It's not good, right? So yeah, yeah that smells really good. I like that. If you like mint and fragrances, you'll like this one. If you don't like the mint note and you're hoping that the mint note doesn't show up, you might want to pass on this because it definitely does. It's the first thing that I smell. Mint? Yeah. Yeah. Mint. Not sure. like not overwhelmingly mint though. No, it's not like a like straight up mint, but it's definitely like the top note. It's the first thing yeah, that the I first, smell. Yeah. And then like a floral behind it. Yeah, like a lemony florally mm -hmm. thing. Freesia, which is more of like a sweet floral. Yeah, so, that's nice. Yeah, so it is nice. All right, do we want to reveal what our favorites are? Yeah. Okay, so how about you pick 
your favorite maybe from the country and then a favorite from the Kringle and then we can just reveal what your least favorite is of all of them. Okay. Okay, so one favorite out of all Got of it. those. Okay, which one's your favorite in the country? Hawaiian Punch. Really? Yeah. More than the pineapple? Yeah, I like this one better. Really? Yeah, strawberry lemonade. That surprises me. I thought you were going to go with the pineapple. No, this is like, you like my childhood. One. You like that one a lot. It just like reminds me. It smells really good. It like smells really good. Which one do you think I'm going to pick? The, this one. Nope. That's actually Paisley's favorite though. Oh, well. She likes that one. Okay, um, it's going to be hard for me to narrow it down, but I think I'm going to go with the cake pops. Really? Fragrance. I yeah. would not have thought you would want cake pop. Really? Yeah. I, I think, mm, I don't know, it's hard. <clears throat> I would have thought you would have done. I do like that pineapple, the pineapple though. One. I really the do. One. I this one's cool. harder for me to one. narrow it down. And I also like the like the sunscreen. That one is good one. too. I like that one. I like the what is it? The sand and centaur one. Yeah, I like sand. that one too. But maybe it's like my mindset isn't really beachy yet. I think maybe the reason I went with cake pops is because like I'm still kind of burning a lot of fragrances like that right now. Yeah. Whereas I feel like these are more like in a couple of months. Oh, that pineapple is so good. It does. It's that one's so really good. good. That. If you, even I would say, even if you don't traditionally like pineapple fragrances, that one is really, really good. Yeah, if you like a good, really good fruity pineapple scent, that one is really good. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna look down here. I'm gonna pick them up again. All right, mm, which one? Which one of the Kringles? There was the banana. There was oh, the. Yeah. There was Downy, our fabric softener. <laughs> Not snuggle. Um, coral ice cream sandwiches. Palo Santo, sage and Palo Santo. That Anna's one was good Foster, too. Gardenia. No. No. Which one? Either the this one. Gardenia. Yeah. Ah. Um, sage and Palo Santo. That one smells really good. I like that one a lot. It's um, like earthy. It's it is. It's mm -hmm. an earthy. Like, but not like smell. dirty hippie earthy. It's just earthy. Like like dancing with a feather in your hair in the wilderness yeah. like some rich kid. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of earthy. <laughs> this one's really good. The banana. The banana's foster? Yeah. Are you going to go with that one? Yeah, I'm going with that. Is that your final choice? Final choice. Okay. What do I want? Nothing. <laughs> I like that one too. I think I'm going to say the ice cream sandwiches is probably really? my favorite. But I like that coral one too. That smells good know. too. That soapy one. Mmm, I like this ice cream sandwiches. No surprise there though. I tend to like that toasted coconut smell. It smells good. I'm just like, it's just not my jam. It's just not your jam. All right, which one would you say of all of them, which one's your least favorite? The gardenia? Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep. not for you. It smells good. I'm, yeah, it's just it not. It smells it's good. Just, right, they all smell I'm like good. Trying to my nose it's just that we all have, we all have personal preferences, well, I guess. It's just not my. Not your thing. Yeah, huh? it's just totally not my thing. No, oh boy. Those kids of ours are getting wild in there. Oh, would you want me to go handle that? No. You want me to go No, they're that? fine. I will tell you my You're least favorite. This time. My least favorite is cotton flowers. It's not for me. I don't really care for that minty note. Now, I will make sure that I burn all of these and I will do some post burn reviews for you guys on all of them. Um, but yeah, that one is just not for me. So I'm sorry that this video has been a little bit long, but I wanted to make sure that I shared all 12 fragrances with you. Again, these will be available on the Kringle website next Friday, March 1st. That's Kelly's birthday, my sister. Um, how old is she now? How old is she? She's older than heck. No, no she's not that she's old. She's super old. No, now. she's young. <laughs> <laughs> She's young. She, my nephew's my age or a little bit, but she's <laughs> getting all gray here. Yeah. She's oh, like, oh, where'd this come from? She's, she's in the stage of life where she has a five-year-old and a three-year-old boys. Yeah, and they are all like... boys. So anyways, yeah. um, launch date will be next <laughs> Friday, funny. March 1st, I believe at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will have everything linked in the description box down below. KD15 will save you 15% if you choose to purchase that purchase right at launch time. Also, that is an affiliate code. I do always like to be completely transparent with that, that that is eligible for a commission. And I thank you very, very much if you choose to use my code for any of your purchases. Uh, let me know in the comment box down below, which fragrances excite you? Are you going to pass on this? Do any of them, like, you're kind of like, oh, that was 
there a few years ago. If I missed that, please let me know. Um, and also let me know because there's 12 of them here, you guys, clearly I'm not going to be able to do post burn reviews on all of these before launch time. But if there are particular fragrances that you are really anxious to see a post burn review on before you make a decision to purchase, will you please let me know in the comment box down below? It helps me prioritize what candles everybody wants to see first. So I think do that's I have a code? It. Do you have a code? No, you do not. So I need to get a code. You need to get a code. Just well, for the videos I'm in. Just for the videos that you're in. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want to get yeah, you if know, you want, if my you think code. Cody should have his own code, yeah. oh boy. All right. Um, don't forget to hit thumbs up if you like this video, if you found it helpful. If you're new to my channel, again, please consider subscribing for more candle content. Uh, we just want to say thank you very, very much for spending your time here with us today. And until my next one, I hope you guys all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>